<clears throat> I guess just go ahead and start. It's kind of the whole theme of this is do it now. Anyways, hey, my name is Lee Durbin. Um, I'm starting this channel mostly as an accountability thing. Um, also, just for fun, um, I've done a few things in the past, just experimenting with uh, uploading to YouTube. Um, they were fun. One happened during when quarantine first started. I thought I would start a, uh, a terrible cooking channel. That was fun. Um, along with uh, doing stuff at years past. Um, but uh, the whole theme of this is I've always kind of wanted to do it more consistently uh, with YouTube anyways. So I've always wanted to create uh, videos, do things that I thought were interesting, um, and see if there were other people out there that were kind of similar to me um, in terms of how I like to present myself, what I think is important, uh, the things I value, as well as just things that I find fun and interesting. Uh, because, you know, it's interesting because there are just billions of people in the world and sometimes you can feel like maybe you're kind of unique, um, which I know I'm not. That sounds really, uh, uh, you know, anyways, so I just thought it'd be fun to kind of see, um, you know, if other people out there kind of like the same stuff I like and think similarly the way I think. Because sometimes when you, uh, you know, I know, I know there's people out there like that that are very similar to me, um, you know, in terms of like core values and, you know, interest. Um, but uh, sometimes, you know, when you go through, you, you talk to these people in everyday life, um, and, uh, you know, even with the people I, you know, associate with now, friends, you know, they don't have all these kind of things in common, you know, usually it'll be this segment of interest, this segment of interest, and, you know, these friends will be like this, these friends will be like that, and things like that. So, I thought it'd be fun to just kind of put some stuff out there, to see what happens, really, honestly. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll get into more of those things. Um, but really, uh, one of the big things I'm starting this right now is really just a kind of a accountability thing. Got my <clears throat> fun little notebook here. Um, so, because if I don't have notes, then I'll just continue the ramble. Uh, essentially just have some kind of things um, that I'm going to be doing. So a large part of why I'm starting this now is for uh, accountability. So there's been a few things in my life that I've sort of struggled with all throughout life. Uh, and this is very stereotypical, especially with starting a YouTube thing. And this is, this is, this is just going to be a big journey. I don't know exactly where the boat is heading just yet. But, it's going somewhere, uh, and you know, the whole thing with this video was, let's go ahead and get started right now, um, because I can put this off until I die, and that will get me nowhere, and I'll never get closer to my own goals and achievements and fulfillment, and you know, I won't use this as a thing to hold me accountable, and blah blah blah, you know, so. These are some of the things I look down. So we'll go ahead and start with a few goals. And one of the number one things why I want to start this whole accountability process. And the first thing in that first goal, uh, stereotypical one, is I need to lose some weight. Um, I've struggled with uh, obesity for a large part of my life. Um, and uh, really it's just time to start and take it seriously. I've kind of yo-yoed in ways in the past. I've done different things. I slimmed out um, in my late 20s and then immediately just gained it right back. Um, I might go more into some of these things. Uh, I've done weightlifting and there was like a time when I was like, you know what, I'm just going to be a power lifter <laughs> uh, and uh, not worry about necessarily losing weight. I just want to be strong. I would be like this chunky, strong guy, you know. Uh, the funny part was, is, you know, I did lose a little bit of weight from that, and I did gain some muscle, and, uh, you know, felt a lot better. The thing was, is I just didn't really get power lifter strong. 
So, you know, you think powerlifter, you think like, ah, oh, yeah, this guy can pick up a car and stuff and, or deadlift 500 pounds, you know, and it's like, ah, oh, I couldn't do any of that. You know, I was stronger, felt better, but I was still chunky. I wasn't eating right. Um, I was doing like, essentially living like a dirty bulk life and uh, just going to the gym and like, I was still eating like tortilla chips and things like that and uh, got to stop. So anyways, first goal uh, and the reason why I want to hold myself and uh, accountable with YouTube and posting videos, uh, do regular check-ins uh, for myself, for anyone that you know, tunes in, that'd be cool. You come along this journey with me. Maybe at the end of this, you know, we can make one of those cool compilation videos with before and after pictures, you know. We'll see, however long that takes. Um, set a goal. My goal is I want to be uh, below 220 pounds on June 22nd. Uh, I weigh 261.8 pounds right now, I think, um, and I've actually lost about five pounds in the last two and a half weeks, uh, which is pretty okay. It's kind of right on the track record, uh, track. <clears throat> That's right along that track you really kind of want to follow, you know, consistent two weeks. Um, a consistent two pounds every week is good. Uh, it's healthy. Um, you know, if you get that rapid weight loss, there's just, you're usually skipping things. You want to have a deficit. You want to have that cal caloric deficit. You want to have that caloric deficit. Oh my, I'm just repeating myself. Okay. Um, but I really want to make sure that I'm hitting these deficits. I'm hitting these goals each week. You know, some weeks it might be more, some weeks it might be less, but I want to try and maintain that consistently. And my goal is to be below 220 by June. To be the lowest weight I've been in a long, long time. Like that was, you know, the part where I said I thinned out. That was my thinned out stage, and that's still overweight. But <clears throat> my camera died. Uh, anyways, uh, so yeah, weight loss goal. I really want to hit that and uh, see where I can take it. Um, not really sure about what exactly the end's gonna look like, but uh, I know it's not this. Um, it can't be. Uh, a few other things I want to talk about. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, I've got different things that I want to achieve in life. There's a lot of bucket list stuff that I really would like to go through and experience. Uh, just different things that I'm kind of passionate about um, or curious um, or, you know, I, th I just think it's totally rad. Uh, whatever. Uh, but there's just th different things like that. There's just a lot of stuff on my bucket list. Uh, people I want to meet, things I want to experience. Uh, we'll probably try to make a series of that. Start with some small ones. Um, maybe film them, maybe not. We'll see. Um, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of bucket list things that I, I really want to go through. Um, another thing is uh, I'm going to talk about sales. Sales! So for like the last six, uh, seven years something like that. Uh, I've had a career in uh, sales and different types of industries, um, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, appliances, computers, TVs, um, furniture, uh, home improvement stuff. I've done a lot of different things in sales uh, over the last few years, and um, it's been my career. Uh, it's not really the most fulfilling career, but the really the reason why I stuck with it is just for the stability. Um, you know, I want I knew I wanted a family. I needed to provide with them for them. Um, I went to college for music education, and I dropped out. Um, I just never finished. Um, I quickly found out that I just wasn't going to make that cut. I I wasn't good enough for it. So. Um, I had to switch gears and I kind of wandered a little aimlessly there for a while, but um, I ended up, I was given a little bit of direction and I took it and found out that uh, it was my best option at the time, considering the, my skill set and resume and it just grew from there. Um, is, is it the most fun? Absolutely not. No. No, it's not fun. Uh, but. I thought it'd be interesting to talk about my own goals I have as a salesperson and, um, you know, 
set those and maybe see really this is it's it's going to be more about sales but really honestly the the core of it's going to be about career direction what i want to do with my life how i deem it necessary to provide for my family and really that's about it that's just going to encompass this channel we're going to keep myself accountable for some of these weight loss goals maybe provide some inspiration hopefully it can be a little funny um you know i like I love humor. Um, we'll talk about my career in sales and, you know, maybe where it might go. And uh, hopefully along the way we can experience some bucket list items. Uh, but uh, we'll talk more about some of these things. Uh, one of the things I plan to do, um, do a fairly consistent upload regarding um, my weight loss, weight loss journey. Hashtag typical. I don't know. So, but I'm going to keep myself consistent with that. Hopefully this really works. And this isn't just an embarrassing channel I have to delete in like three months. So, consistency is going to be key uh, with my weight loss. So, I'm going to try and make it consistent to upload videos regarding that weight loss. Um, anyways, uh, this is probably pretty long. I uh, need to edit this and uh, hopefully cut it down because I'm pretty sure nobody is gonna be really this interested, but you know what? I need to put a video on here. I need to start something. Start it now. So can you get inspired? I'm inspired. Let's let's throw it down. My my dudes, my gals. Anyways. That's about all I got. guess I've got to talk about right now, so I'll see you around. Thanks.